Okay, this is Jim Janice. I'm going to spend a few minutes here on a netbook computer in an office at DePaul University, and I'm madly sorting through a couple of items that I just wanted to show you. In this course, CSC 200, we're taking a look at computers. I wanted to show you a little bit of computer history, though. This is called green bar paper. Now, I'm going to hold it a little closer so you can see exactly what this print looks like, and I want you to see the date on this piece of paper. Do you see here right under my mouth, now it's going to be under my nose, you see a date there? 19 December 78. This is old, old stuff. This is more than 30 years ago. This is what came off of a mainframe computer, all connected together like this. See how that looks? All connected together with these sprocket holes on the side that pin feed paper. I'm going to show you a little bit about what computer programming used to look like. See this stuff right here? This kind of print? Kind of gibberish looking stuff? Well, what was that? That was job control language for a mainframe. That is a computer that would be a very large machine, very expensive, predating digital computers. Here's another piece of this. I'm looking here now at the top, and this came from DePaul, here where we're, we're doing this, we're studying, and I just wanted to show you a little bit about some of the programming that went on at that time, and I wanted to show you now something of a programming language that was in use at that time. This is a printout, so it starts something like this, and in this case, the output of this program and I'll show you a little bit. Uh, well, this is just the paper starting out. The paper starting out once again. And you can see this was run a oh, long time ago. Now, let's take a look at what a program looks like. I just dropped it on the floor here. Because programs would be printed out this way for a programmer to work with. So, here you're taking a look at a COBOL program. COBOL was a computer programming language. We don't teach this anymore. A lot of people still use it. You see here, let's see if I can show this to you adequately. You see how this thing looks? It's kind of like all in columns. It's 80 characters wide because the way that we would put this information in would be on punched cards. And they would be 80 characters wide. So these languages were set up to work on that basis. This was a form of programming that was very common before the days of small modern computers. And I'll just go, it would come off a printer something like this, here, more and more and more and more, on and on. You would punch these statements onto punch cards, and then you would feed them into a card reader and the computer would take the language that you had expressed here. And let me show you a little something where we're actually talking about manipulating data. So let's get down to a piece of this program that deals with instructions. They're called, oh, here we are, the procedure division. And this is like sentences. See this? and it was written in paragraphs, and you learned how to program a computer this way. Oops. There we are. Something like that. Okay, I just wanted to show you this because this is the way the programs used to be written a long time ago. We don't interact with computers this way now because now we have ways of getting information into a computer and out of a computer in a much more friendly way, a way that's called interactive. That means you interact with the machine. You type on a keyboard, and the machine understands the characters you're putting in. We've already started to talk about how characters are represented electronically in bits, that is, electronic bits. The standard code for this is ASCII, A-S-C-I-I, -I, American Standard Code for Information Interchange, and we talk a little bit about this in this class so that you understand how this works. 
There'll be some things I ask you to do on the web, very interesting little programs that explore that. I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you a little bit about the way computer programming used to be. That is the, the arcane way that you would put information in and you would get it out on these large printout forms. That's the way programs were written before the personal computer was popularized many years ago, years before most of you were born. I'm Jim Janesey. We'll have a lot more videos in CSC 200 in the winter term of 2011 when I'm making this video. I think you're going to enjoy it.